something to show you. It's a tiny bottle of paradise. Pure paradise antibacterial soap, to be exact, from Bath and Body Works. Now, you may not be familiar with this particular brand, but I'm curious, so raise your hands if you're aware that there is this thing called antibacterial soap. Okay, oh, yeah. yes, it's everywhere, right? And have you ever used it yourself? Of course you have. I too have used antibacterial soap. I used to buy it from my own home. And I used to make sure that my children used it because I wanted to keep them safe, right? After all, there's something comforting about that notion that it kills 99.99% .99 of all bacteria, right? Well, ever since I learned the truth about antibacterial soap, I don't let my kids use it anymore because I want to keep them safer. Consider this soap here, the active ingredient of which is called triclosan. Triclosan is very effective at killing bacteria in the laboratory, but it's been completely useless to me. Why? You have to let it sit on your hands for two full minutes for it to have any killing effect. And in my entire life, I've never left the soap on my hands for two minutes before washing it off. Have you? Then this stuff is completely useless to you as well, while exposing us all to several potential health risks. Triclosan is a regulated pesticide. It's also a known endocrine disruptor in animals as diverse as frogs and rats. It's also in our bodies. The CDC's National Biomonitoring Program has found triclosan in the blood of 75% of all Americans age six and up. It's also commonly found in mother's milk. Given all this exposure, it's no surprise the bacteria in our bodies are becoming resistant to triclosan. So when we're sick and we need this drug to save us, it may not work. That's why the CDC recommends regular soap. The good news is that this game is changing for the better. In 2013, the FDA proposed new rules that would, for the first time, require soap makers to demonstrate the safety and effectiveness of their antibacterial products. Afterwards, Bath & Body Works joined other responsible soap makers in taking antibacterials out of their consumer product lines. More broadly, consumers are becoming more aware of the fact that it's just not a good idea to continually expose yourself to low doses of antibacterials. So we're demanding antibacterial-free products. Not just our hand soaps, but our facial creams, baby toys, you know, everything they put this stuff in. So what that means is we're finally winning this fight against the inappropriate use of antibacterials in consumer products.